And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Samara Kokinos. We have been tracking thick fog this morning and it has thickened up so much. Now we have an advisory for the entire valley. This dense fog advisory will actually last through about 9 o'clock this morning. So you can expect your visibilities to be reduced heavily out there for your commute. When we look at your visibilities out on the roadways right now, we're down to a half mile Rio Grande City and areas west and northwest of that getting a little bit thicker as you go into Zapata County. But check out eastern Hidalgo County now down to a quarter mile in Westlaco and that includes uh, Willacy and Cameron County down to a quarter mile in Raymondville and Harlingen. Surrounding areas as well will be uh, thick at times and then thins out a little bit going to Brownsville a half mile. Port Isabel still around a half mile there as well. So yes, yeah, some thick stuff is out there, but over in McAllen and, and uh, excuse me, Edinburgh, it's relatively clear for now, but that could change over the next hour or so as you start to see that patchy fog develop uh, through nine o'clock this morning. After that is when it'll start to fizzle out. Temperatures really not too bad out there. Our dew point values have risen, so we're back into that muggy category with around 64 for your dew point. It's 63 degrees right now in Roma Creek. Good morning to you in Penitas, where you're waking up at 68. It's 63 in Santa Monica and 65 to start your day in Laguna Heights. Really not too bad in terms of temperature, but you do have that fog and a little bit of light rain and mainly cloudy skies to contend with. So with your day planner forecast, you'll want to have your umbrella with you. Although you may not get rain right now, it could occur later on this afternoon and it'll be off and on in nature and relatively light. Okay, 67 degrees will go up to 73 by noon. 75 is your daytime high and we'll be back in the upper 60s for your drive time home. The difference that you'll notice later on today is where your wind is coming from. It'll be out of the north northeast as this cold front that's draped across South Te or actually central Texas right now moving into South Texas uh, will arrive later on this afternoon. It looks like just afternoon before three o'clock is when we can expect that front to pass. It's going to be a very quiet front though, not much fanfare, so it'll be relatively weak. When we look at future track and we put the clock in motion, you'll see that there can still be isolated to light rain showers that could become a little bit more scattered and then isolated again in the afternoon. Second half of the day, the activity is still around, even though the front will be well to our south, it'll still be here because what that front is going to do is it's going to linger to our south and eventually it'll actually retreat back to the north as a warm front. So we're keeping around a 30% chance for rain in the forecast for today and for this evening. Now, as you head into Friday and Saturday, we're looking at dry. So it only is today that you really have to think about the rain. OK, but again, that weak front will turn into a warm front and turn back to the north passing through the valley. That'll have temperatures on the rebound very quickly for this holiday season. It looks like will be in the 80s for Christmas and then we still have showers that we'll have to deal with that will come back to the forecast early next week. So don't put your umbrellas away completely. You'll be needing them on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday at this point with the front that is associated with all of this rain. It looks like it could stay to our, our north at this point, but it still has the potential maybe Thursday or Friday to move south. It's something that we'll have to watch as we get closer to that time period to see where the changes take us. Along the coast today, east northeast winds will pick up at 7 miles per hour this morning, going up to 15 later on today. We'll have a moderate chop building on the bay near shore waters at 1 to 3 feet with no advisories. There is an elevated rip current risk. Two high tides for you fishermen today, 212 this afternoon and 926 later on tonight. Here's your first warm five seven day forecast we will be at 75 degrees today, 59 tonight. A few showers and some fog is possible later on tonight into tomorrow morning. Now, as we head into tomorrow, notice it gets warmer and it's breezy. 79 degrees. We could see some peaks of sunshine even as we head into the weekend. We'll be right around 80 degrees tomorrow. 81 for Christmas Day. So very warm, very breezy. Even Christmas Eve looks like it's going to be pretty mild near 68. So we head into next week. Notice we'll keep the rain chances around 10 to 20, maybe even 30 percent. High temperatures, upper 70s, low 80s by day. By night, we'll be in the mid to lower 60s. That's your updated first warm five forecast.